Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and it's time for another two-week challenge, and I haven't done one of these in a really long time. I like to do the two-week challenge series with products I really have limited experience with, similar to when I tried out the first iPhone that I used and my first MacBook, and it's time to try out a two-week challenge with the Apple Watch. So I've got this Series 5 Apple Watch right here, and honestly, I've never even worn an Apple Watch before, never really even used one, so my experience with them is so limited, it'll give me a different perspective on using an Apple Watch. I do have my iPhone 11 here, which I will be pairing this guy to. With this first video of the series, I'll be doing an unboxing and setup process and give some real first impressions of the Apple Watch. Also, be sure to go follow me on Instagram. I will be doing some updates on my stories. Really appreciate it if you go check out my Instagram. I'll link to that down below. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get started on the two week challenge of the Apple Watch Series 5. Let's get started. Here is the box, very minimal, just has Apple Watch kind of etched into that cardboard. Flipping it over, it does have the Series 5 Space Gray Aluminum Case, the 44 millimeter variant, which I think is going to look best on my wrist. So let's open this up, taking it apart. Looks like you have a bunch of different Apple Watches on the inside. So that's kind of where most of the design is going on in this packaging is on the inside. Now right away looks like we have apple watch sport band and you will see yes i did get the blue variant flipping it over so that actually is boxed separately and the 44 millimeter watch face is boxed in a separate place actually kind of interested to see how easy it is to switch out and put on the band so let's open up the alaskan blue sport band first taking it out it says apple watch right here it's just some information Flipping it open. It gives you information on how to actually attach it to the watch face. And here's the band. It looks like it comes in three separate parts. So here's one of them. And I'm guessing these are two different sizes. So yes, the small, medium, and the medium, large, depending on how big your wrist is going to be. And of course, the other side of the band where this goes through the holes with some plastic on the side. And also it does say 44 millimeter on it. Setting things to the side, let's check out the watch face, so sliding the top part up, greeted with some information and the watch face with a cloth on the front. Sliding the booklets out lets you know how to actually set up your Apple Watch, of course, with the compatible app and information about the watch face itself, which actually might come in handy for me. And of course, your USB type A cable to the wireless charging dock, which is magnetic, so it should be easy to place your watch on the charging dock. And I'm not actually sure if this is Qi wireless compatible, so I will actually test that out throughout the two week challenge to see if I can use other wireless chargers to charge my watch. And finally, let's look at the watch face. It's in a very premium looking and feeling cloth to protect it. Sliding it on open, there is the bottom of the watch face with all of those sensors. And flipping it over here is the front of the watch face. I'm noticing this is actually kind of nice to spin. I have just the first initial impression, but it seems very easy to grasp onto and spin with the texture on the side. And I believe this would be the power button if I'm not mistaken. And again, guys, I really haven't done much research on this in terms of trying things out. So I'm gonna going to have to learn as I go. As it boots up, let's grab our uh, watch bands and put them on the watch. Let's go ahead and attempt to get the bands on. So the part with the clip on it goes towards the top. Ooh, I really like that haptic feedback going on with that scroll wheel. That is super crisp. Nice job, Apple. Of course, them having the best haptic feedback on phones, why wouldn't they put it on their watch? So to put this on, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the back and I believe it's the metal side up like this and you slide it in till it clicks. Yes, I did hear a click there. It seems very secure. And to get it out, I think you just push this button in and then slide it back out the same way that you put it in. Now, let's go ahead and grab one of the bands. I'm gonna go ahead and try the medium large one instead of the small medium. Again, same process. Just go ahead and slide it in until it clicks. And it clicked right there and it is in very secure. So, Let's put this on my wrist and actually see how it fits. All right, so I got it on my wrist. Fairly easy to figure out what length I wanted it at. So you'll see I have two empty ones to the left and four to the right. So I might be able to get away with the small medium one. However, I can just go ahead and tuck in the excess 
right in there. And it does feel very comfortable. That did tighten it up just a little bit on this part of my wrist. Again, I'm actually more of a traditional watch wearer, so I don't usually use bands like this. However, initial impressions is that it's very comfortable, of course going to be great when working out. Okay, so I put on the small medium one and you'll see I have a lot of empty slots over here and just one right here, which means I can pretty much get away with it. And if I tuck this in, not too much slack to tuck in. So I'll see if that's actually gonna be a bother and it's gonna pop out because there's not much to hold it in place. But I'm gonna try the small medium band for now. I might actually switch to the medium large depending on how my experience goes. Let's run through the setup process, select my language, iPhone, Apple Watch, looks like I have to connect my phone so i'm going to go ahead and grab it and right away just about right away it took a little bit of time but it did pop up as you saw with that slight delay go ahead and hit continue and bring this in the camera lens similar to actually when you switch iphones over the same screen pops up and there we go your apple watch is paired very simple set up apple watch on which which wrist do you wear your apple watch side note by the way, it was actually really easy to swap out this band. So I foresee maybe if I wanna get a more elegant designed band to swap out, it really was not that difficult. So I wear watches on my left wrist, of course. All right, agreed to terms and conditions. It signed into my account. Now I'm going to enable route tracking. Watch analytics, you can share those with Apple if you'd like to. There is an Apple Watch passcode, which is nice because it only enables when you take the watch off. So we wanna go ahead and create a passcode, enter that on the watch. I'm gonna go through the motions. I'm going to set up information about myself, birthday, height, weight, all that good stuff. All right, after inputting that information, we can set a daily move goal. I'm gonna actually go ahead and do moderate for now. Again, I will change the, these throughout the two weeks, see what fits my lifestyle. So let's set that move goal, keep the Apple Watch up to date. Of course, automatic updates on this guy. And yes, you can use Apple Pay, so you don't even need to take your phone out of your pocket to use it. There is an emergency SOS service to press and hold the side button to actually contact it, just as a heads up. Clock faces, you can change them on the fly, which I really like. I'm curious to see if I can find one that looks maybe similar to what a real watch is gonna look like and also manages my notifications well, so we'll find that out. We're gonna go all out and install all available applications. So let's go ahead and let this Apple Watch sync up and I'll be back. While this syncs up, let's take a nice close look at the Apple Watch. You'll notice with the crown, it has some ridges on it, which makes it easier to catch hold of with your fingers. Power button on the side, microphone, flipping it on over. There's a look at the left side and then down at the bottom, just all of those different sensors that will be against your wrist. All right, your watch is ready. Press the digital crown to start. Oh, I didn't actually realize that was a button and it just gave some haptic feedback. So this is actually a button. I didn't realize that there was one embedded into the crown. So of course this will handle your scrolling and such. Let's go through and learn a couple things. So swiping down is the notifications. You can go ahead and close those out. Swiping up is control center to turn Wi-Fi on and off your notification alerts, sleep mode, let's see, you know, battery percentage, and a group of different things. So if I go ahead and press flashlight, does that turn the flashlight on on my phone? Oh no, I see, it just turns the screen white to use as a flashlight. Okay, that's kind of neat. I wonder how, how handy that's actually going to be. Pressing and holding on the watch face looks like you can customize them. Also switch between different watch faces. You, got, you can also customize this within the Apple Watch app. So kind of nice, gonna have to play around and find out which one I like. So if we actually want to customize the watch face, let's go ahead and do that. So dial color, multicolor, or the date, and all the different information, your weather temp, UV index, and activity. So if we go to weather temp and slide through, you can change it to wind, workout, world clock, and a group of different ones for UV index, walkie-talkie, weather, and with the date, it looks like digital time. So there's a lot you can customize even just with each individual watch face. So again, I'm gonna have to play around with that. And it seems like pressing this button will go back. Once we get our watch faces customized, I found that you can just quickly swap between those faces when you swipe over from the edge, which is very seamless and the animation looks really nice. So if I have maybe a workout one, I can quickly swap to that one while I work out and then go back to my more casual daily one or maybe a more formal one. Finally, while on the watch face, you press in on the crown and it brings up all of your various apps that you have. I see Uber, Facebook, your messaging app, weather, calendar, 
and a bunch of different ones. So kind of neat that they're all in these little bubbles. I'm gonna have to see how easy it will actually be to press on them. So if I wanna go ahead and go into the weather app, there you go, in Chicago, let's you know the weather based on the time. It's 27 degrees, way too cold here. Uh, but yeah, overall, I'm really liking the Apple Watch, especially the haptic feedback on the crown. Again, I'm gonna actually put it on my, my wrist now, maybe do a quick workout as well. So more to come on the Apple Watch. Like I said, be sure to follow me on Instagram. I'll link to that down below and more videos to follow. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully you enjoyed this intro to the two week challenge on the Series 5 Apple Watch. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And as always guys, thank you very much for watching.